The blue door, that's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? You can reach the bowl now. Uh-huh. What does this mean? Seed. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. The greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and see, stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. really got to go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Great. Now I can barely see. There's light. Make do. Finally. We can use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here. mistake. Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Bye. So? Was she in the light? Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Father, do you ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. What now? We have the light. To Midgard. It's crazy to think that all the realms exist in the same space. One on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed sop put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Look, we rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the Witch's Cave. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning. The sun is over there, so... 
That's south. Southwest? Good. Oh, look. The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. Father, do you... Do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working! She was right! Come, let us finish this. Then we climb. You know, others said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Teodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The mouth! We made it! More black breath. Giants did come here. Is that a deer? I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, doth no might call. Hmm. <laughs> the floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Think there's a second light crystal around here? Oh, how do you think that got up there? This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. Still no Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? That helps, right? These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? You're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your phone. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure? See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. We made it across! Oh, this is Durothron. 
one of the four stags of the world tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Jotunheim while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Wow. The highest peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the giant's mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. It's a name, I think. Razlir. It means terror. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. find our way up through there after you know getting rid of those things Mountain. Big. Look! Another lantern! Broken. Leave it. What could they be for? There's something special about them. I can feel it. It's working! No way! Give us the way to the top. It's working. We got the claw back. This goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. 
Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come boy, it is a long way up. Another mining wood. It may not be as long a way up as we thought. so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. Enemies ahead! Father, after we scatter the mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Calm yourself, boy, and stay behind me. Come <laughs> on. 
Be ready! Sap, and there is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Someone's screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Hey, Oakley! Over here! You okay?
plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. We did it. And you! Ah! Uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Um, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah, he said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No, I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No, over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No, and uptight. Fussy! I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that- Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Yeah, I am not touching that. Just hold it out. <laughs> now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um, oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the... Oh, oh I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just... Never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. Yep. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just... It feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. It's getting colder. We must be near the top. Look! The summit! We're so close now! Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's alright. I can hold it. Stop. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. 
Good. Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. There must be some way up. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. You've got company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, check their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single...
Lady. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Mimir back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. OK. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about... My kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. Mother... a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. <gasps> break don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies leave him boy no fat well you already soiled my solitude so you may as well join me they're not hungry good it's not what i was offering saw your brother again congratulations and I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way. Behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes. She fought beautifully. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? 
Bear was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. How's it going, Charlie? Is there a witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Father, she is here! It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. 
Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. I do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Frey spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! had that statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. He remembers me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, Makuna Huntunkun. Aonde é Kono Tunovuno? the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there.
so when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Hrimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Gore. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Hostiles up ahead! A wolver! On your mark! Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. <laughs> 